All right, chat. I think it's time. I was a little bit late. I thought these came out at 2 o'clock. They came out at 1, so I'm a slight bit behind. Chubby Bear, thanks for the Prime for two months. I think it's time to see what does Romacho look like. He's not uber Yo. broken, sort of hard to play mechanically. Uh, well, the Kierka was the same way, though. Uh, and her ultimate is the most broken thing in the game, like, by far. Uh, sorry. <laughs> I guess it's, it is the most broken, but you don't get it that often. It's like, Railgun is technically the most broken, but regardless. Of what, okay, anyways. Anyways, I think it's time. Full screen chat. Are you ready? Strap in. Let's see. I do not fight for my... Sorry, one more time. I do not fight for myself. I never have. Together, we are unstoppable. This is not my victory. It is ours. It's Hanu. So he's got a shield? Okay. You are finished. Is that like Sigma suck? <laughs> Quality, the quality just went to shit. Sorry, sorry, the, I don't know why I did that. Fight with me! Fight until you fall! I will break before I yield. Oh my god. He has a titan. They will be annihilated. <laughs> this is justice. <laughs> Easy. R ripping mercy out of the sky. That looks interesting. I right, will we'll, we'll rewatch this at the end to go to do a little bit more of a piece by piece breakdown, but really quick. Uh some Twitter stuff. So they tweeted out the the trailer, but they also tweeted this. <sighs> Overwatch 2 Ramatra. Void Accelerator. Fires a stream of projectiles in a fixed pattern. Creates a barrier at the target location. So I'm assuming that's like his like staff form, right? Like his staff form is, you know, floating around with the fucking, uh, basically his ranged floaty damage. Pummel, Nemesis form. Punch forward, creating a wave of energy with every swing. Significantly reduces damage taken from the front and reduces movement speed. So he's basically Doomfist, but better. That's awesome. Annihilation creates a spreading swarm of nanobots that creep out in front of you, dealing damage and reducing enemy damage dealt by 50%. What? Nah, no way. So wait, so wait. This thing, <clears throat> this thing, when you run at fucking people, does damage and reduces how much damage they do to you by fifty percent. It's like a like a stronger fortify. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Nemesis form transform to Nemesis form, changing your attacks and gaining bonus armor. Ravenix, ravenous vortex, fire a nano ball, which explodes when it hits the ground, spreading a damaging field. Affected enemies are slowed and pulled downward. Wait, so you have a. A gravity field? That's what this is? That's why Mercy gets sucked to the ground? Oh, dude, farmer, far Mercy players are going to be so mad. I can't, dude, I, and for the longest time, 
as a tank player, I've just been at my wits end with Far Mercy players just sitting there at the skybox. You gotta go, like, D.Va or some other annoying shit and kind of, like, farm them, like, you know, like, poke them down and hope for some hit skin. I'm not doing it myself! I will say, though, uh, there is one thing that kind of makes me a little bit nervous, and I think we're gonna see that in the next part, uh, is Overwatch is, perf is referring to them as a tempo tank. 50% Omnic, 50% Nemesis, 100% Tempo. Uh, I don't mean this in a, mad, a bad way, but it's going to sound bad. Uh, does the Overwatch dev team, the block, sorry, the um, balance team, understand what Tempo is in Overwatch? Because every tank has Tempo in Overwatch. So I'm a little confused on that one. Um... Anyways, that being said, there's also a blog post. So, building a revolutionary, an inside look at Ramacha with the hero design team. All right, I'm interested to see. I wonder if they'll talk about the whole tempo thing here because I'll be honest with you, I'm a little skeptical. Ramacha storms the Overwatch 2 roster with a fierce ability and domineering playstyle. Wow, we're actually just going straight into... Okay. Um, would you expect anything else from the leader of Null Sector? Truth be told, Ramatra has was a technically challenging hero to make. He's very special in the world of Overwatch, both playable as a hero and as a character with a rich story. Ramatra is exceptional, and we're excited to share him with you. Uh, he was always intended to be a tank because we knew we wanted to be able to transform into this big, imposing tank. We call this his nemesis form. Before we get into that, Sorry, I was just trying to mute alerts. It doesn't mute for some reason, but... Uh, before we get into that, let's walk through his concept and kit with members of Overwatch 2's the hero design team, Josh No, and Tess Lehman. Uh, Ramatra is the first tempo tank we've added in Overwatch 2, which means he can change forms moments to moment. The base form of Ramatra is his Omnic phone. Uh, yes, yeah, this, this, this reminds me of Sigma. So, for those who weren't around back in 2019, when they released Sigma... I was even a bit, my bad. When they released Sigma, um, they said that Sigma was the next main tank. Uh, and they all t they hyped it out. They were like, it's the new main tank. He's the next main tank. He's going to be, he has a shield. He's a main tank. And it's like, no, Sigma was not a main tank. He was an off tank. Because what they didn't understand is main tanks have to survive for long periods of time off of their health kit, not off their abilities. Uh, so even though his abilities were good, it just made him a really fucking annoying off tank to deal with. It made him really, really broken because he had really high damage and really high self-sustain while pairing with a main tank. Um, what made main tanks main tank was armor. So I'm, I'm, I'm a little skeptical of the whole fucking tempo thing, but let's keep reading. Uh, when you first select Ramatra, Omnic Form is where, you sh where you're going to start. His weapon in his form is Void Accelerator, a massive staff that comes with its own set of primary and secondary fires. Oh, it's got two vi That's interesting. Void Accelerator's primary fire uh, fires out a stream of fast-moving nanites, says Noah. Uh, the nanite particles have a travel speed that requires you to lead your targets, but there's no damage fall-off. Whoa. Uh, okay. Um, I would assume it doesn't do a whole lot of damage then, but... This gives Ramatra a long range option, but there's an advantage to using his weapon close range. Lehman elaborates on this point. If you're close to enemies and you put your staff right in their face, they're going to do quite a bit of damage, especially if you're hitting crits. Okay, okay. Uh, the secondary ability is Void Barrier, a temporary high health barrier that Ramatra can place in a targeted location. When you activate the barrier, you'll see a line of the floor to confirm where you want to place the barrier in its range, which creates a few different play styles, says Lehman. Use it defensively to protect teammates and cut off enemies, or use it offensively to create space and close the gap between you and the other team. Okay, I, I, I actually kind of like the whole uh, barrier thing. I think it's actually pretty cool, because it's not like, it's sort of like Arissa's old barrier, but not really in the same way. Um, it, it's, it's actually like a nice, happy medium. Uh, everything about this form enables you to close the gap between enemies, says Noah. You can use this form technically to move in on enemies and activate his nemesis form, where he gains two new abilities, Pummel and Block. 
Uh, okay, so the Nemesis form. Ramacha's Nemesis form changes both of his appearance and his weapon. He becomes a giant predator or threat, depending on your perspective. He bulks up with extra armor, and he forms two extra arms, which serve as his weapons in Nemesis form. Okay. Uh, Pummel launches a short-range wave with each swing, says Lehman. It also is a piercing attack, so their enemies stacked within range. They all get hit. It's really nice for playing around things like Reinhardt's Shield, Def Diva's Defense Matrix, or Winston Bubble. What? Wait, what? Yo, Reinhardt, oh, listen, man, I I'm probably going to enjoy playing this tank, but Reinhardt's already dog shit. Like, he's already really bad in high... In, 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 the reason he's actually not that bad in lower ranks is because he can exist for a really long time and just stand there. Uh, but in high elo, Reinhardt's absolutely terrible, so there goes another Reinhardt nerf. Um, Diva Defense Matrix and Winston Bubble. That's, that's actually crazy. Like, having damage that is unblockable is crazy. Pummel equals Fire Strike Piercing. Yeah, but Fire Strike can be eaten by Defense Matrix in Sigma Flux, so it's not totally the same thing. Uh, I, I see. I know what you're saying, though. Um, but there actually isn't anything in the game that is unblockable damage. I don't think. That's okay. That's that's actually going to be terrifying. Um, okay. Uh, it's kind of difficult to dance in front and out of a bubble when Primal goes straight through it. Or sorry, not primal. Pummel goes straight through it just regardless. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're just we're just coming out and saying the quiet part out loud. Um, for block, Ramacha throws his big tank arms in front of his face, reducing damage from the front. It also effect it's also effective at reducing the damage of Hanzo's dragons and Torbjorn's molten core, despite them surrounding him. Wait, really? Does Doomfist do that or no? I don't Wait, so he's just better at, he's just the better Doom Fence, that's funny. Uh, Block slows Ramacha's movement speed and only applies to damage received from the front, leaving him vulnerable from behind. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, there's no cooldown on the block. No, actually, why would you, why would you the people be behind you, though? That, that is, okay, we're not gonna argue. Uh, there's no cooldowns on the block. No elaborate... Wait, there's no cooldown on the block? Wait... If there's no cooldown, can you just like, can you just like cha cha slide and just like? Dude, he's just a better Doomfist. That's awesome. Um, launch Sigma moment. Honestly, not wrong. Uh, you can <laughs> you can use it whenever you want by weaving it in and out of your attacks. The trade off is you can't punch while using it, and it slows you down. That. That's not really a big trade-off, though. Okay. Uh, Nemesis is an 8-second ability with an 8-second cooldown, so you aren't permanently in this form. Okay, that's good. Um, you need time for which the form... Wait. You need to time to your... Uh, which your form in your... <sighs> brain. Hello? I know I just woke up. Get it the f together. You need to time which form you're in carefully, because the abilities in one form won't be present in the other. However, there's an ability that Ramacha can utilize regardless of which form he's currently using. Wait, it's this one? Ravenous Vortex is a ball of nanites that slows, grounds, and damages enemies. This ability is a projectile that bounces off walls, enemies, and slippery slopes like roofs. It must hit the floor to activate, says Lehman. Once activated, it opens up this big area that will slow enemies Pull them to the ground and deal damage. Ravenous Vortex keeps enemies in Ramacha's sweet spot so he can deal damage easily in either Nemesis or Omnic form. You can use this ability defensively to keep people off your teammates or lock down certain areas. Ramacha can use this ability to halt the enemy team from rushing you, says no. Enemies have a super weak jump that when they're caught with this ability, Winston goes almost nowhere. What? Ramacha can use his ability to halt the enemy team from rushing you. Wait, Ramacha can use his ability to halt the enemy team from rushing you, says Noah. Enemies have a super weak jump when they're caught in this ability. Winston goes almost nowhere. So is it also a snag, like a slow? I thought it just kept you from going up. 
It's a Winston counter. It's a Winston counter and a Rhine counter and a Diva counter and a Sigma counter. I, dude, it's like everything in one. Th this part is interesting, though. Can you use this ability to halt the enemy team from rushing you? Rush is on the ground. Like, that's understood, right? Like, rush is like ball, like balled up comps that rush around on the ground. Like, Winston goes through the air. So, that's dive. Uh, I mean, I guess Death Ball Winston, it does exist, but could have used a better example, I guess. Uh, Ramacho has better tools to help him command space. He doesn't finesse his way into team fights. He brute forces his path by any means necessary to achieve his objectives. His ultimate is no exception. Oh boy, I can't wait to read this thing. Annihilation is a special ultimate, says Lehman. First, Ramacha immediately goes into nemesis mode, but there's nothing else. When the, wait, sorry. But there's something else going on at the same time. Annihilation is a wide energy swarm that lashes out towards any enemies within range, dealing consistent damage. It's similar to Transcendence in the sense it creates a big ring around him. Annihilation has beams that latch onto enemies within range, depleting their health, says Lehman. Enemies need to be within the ultimate's range and Ramacha's line of sight, but there's another caveat to this ability. It doesn't end, says Lehman. What? If the beam is attached to an enemy, it pauses the duration of the ultimate, Lehman continues. The ultimate itself is relatively short, but if it's attached to someone, it's not ending. While these tethers are attached to enemies, Ramacha has all the benefits and abilities from ne Nemesis form. He gives enemies two options with this ultimate. Either eliminate him or move. Um, newsflash. That first one isn't going to be on the table. Uh, because he reduces their damage by 50%. So good luck with that one. Uh, null section means Overwatch. Ramacha's playstyle is complex and multifaceted, mirroring his history and his ideals. Omnic form is highly tactical and gives us a glimpse at Ramacha's ingenious mind. Nemesis form is huge, imposing, and violent, a physical manifestation of his rage. While he's unleashing his ultimate annihilation, he roars, suffer as I have. Though this ability, we will we see the pain he has experienced in his long war against humanity. It makes you wonder if there's anything he won't do to save his people from extinction. Ramacha is staged to, line up, jo staged to join the lineup of Overwatch 2 Heroes starting in Season 2 on December 6th. Okay! Um, initial thoughts. Um... Uh, Initial thoughts is the 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 staff form, the void accelerator form seems really cool. Um, I like the idea of having range damage and up close damage. I think that's really good gameplay. Um, the nemesis form sounds really really fun. Being able to punch, I being able to go through barriers and defense matrix. I don't know how I feel about that yet. Um, I don't think that's too. Uh, good. Um, Flats didn't read the last line. <laughs> Make sure to pick up your premium battle pass to try them out and share what you think. Okay, all right, you got me there. I might have missed that. Oh, man. Oh, God. Hey, chat, make sure you got your credit cards out. Don't put those away. Um, Nemesis form seems really cool. I like the idea of an up-close brawler. That's actually what I've wanted out of a tank is another brawl, like an actual, like, melee character. I've, I've wanted one for a bit. Um, The Ravenous Vortex sounds really cool. I actually think that that's probably going to be, like, the most, like, I don't know, most annoying, but also skillful part of his kit. Like, being able to basically be a fair Mercy counter on your own uh, is a big, big scary, honestly. Uh, but the Annihilation Ultimate, 
I mean, we'll see how long it lasts and stuff like that. All of this combined just sounds uh, it sounds like a like an absolute metric f ton of stuff. Um, and I think he's gonna be pretty fucking busted. I think he's gonna be pretty busted. I think that being able to block and then stop blocking like immediately is gonna be uh, insane. But I will say I'm a little bit disappointed that they keep using this phrasing of tempo tank because that scares me. Um, that scares me quite a bit, I'll be honest with you. Uh, it reminds me very much of Sigma, uh, back when Sigma was released in 2019, and the dev team was very convinced he was a main tank, and he was not a main tank in any way, shape, or form. Um, so, I don't think they even mentioned really here him what makes him a, quote, tempo tank. Um, so, I don't know. It's It's very interesting, to say the least. Oh, did you guys get ads? Oh, my bad. Sorry. Uh, it, it's on a timer. There's nothing I can do about it. He has plus 150 armor every eight seconds. True, but I think it, the the big key is going to be how much the numbers are. The numbers are going to be the big one. The 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 damage numbers for his punches, the damage numbers uh, for how much incoming damage his block takes. Like, what's the percentage? Um, what is his shield? Uh, health, what is his left click, like his like staff form or whatever, uh, what is that damage number, all of those numbers are going to be the key, uh, but his ultimate's already broken, 50% damage reduction, um, for anyone that's shooting at him that's connected to it, that, that's, that's gonna be the most infuriating thing to play against, let me tell you. Uh, <clears throat> anyways, so... I think we're match is gonna be fun. Uh, you know what? I'm I'm down to have a broken tank. Hey, hey, you know what? All the other characters get broken shit. Uh, tank, we got Joker Queen, and then she got nerfed in the ground before we actually, uh, you know, or just run away from him. It's not that simple though. It, it, just just running away from him is not gonna be that simple. I, I promise you that. Uh, I mean, we'll see when we get to test it, but or play it.